Hey everybody, my name is Allie Nickerson and I'm going to show you the basics of using Google Keep. So the way that you can get to Google Keep is keep.google.com and Google Keep is basically a digital sticky note for you. It's a collection of all of your notes that are housed here so whenever you want to go back to a note you can go back to Google Keep. Now the cool thing is that with Google, Keep is integrated in so many different aspects of it through slides, docs, YouTube. So I'm going to show you first of all, this is the Google Keep layout. So over here we have all of our notes. And to take a note, you just click here. So if I want to say notes from my Friday meeting, then I can start typing notes. And I can have dashes, I can have check boxes, I can keep my note however I want to and then there are some ways to organize it as well so if I want to I can add a drawing which is super cool because if you wanted to make a one pager on your meeting or draw something out you can click add drawing and it's going to take you to this whiteboard and so then with this whiteboard you could take notes so if you're taking notes on maybe a new strategy of multiplication so you want to show the kids that here we have three groups of two then that is six now you can save this note and have a visual of it in Google Keep you could also add some background if you want to to help your notes and now when I go back I can see this on my Google Keep note so from my Friday meeting, I could keep saying notes like today we learned about arrays for multiplication. And now I have a note with a visual and I can save it. Now if I click close, I can see this note right here. If I want to organize it even further, I can change the background of this so I can know that it's purple or give it a cool little theme here. And then when I click close, I can easily find it in within my notes. So the other thing you can do is you can have a reminder that if you want to remind yourself about this strategy next week or to do it later in class, you can have Google Keep set reminders for you to check back on your notes. So you can set a date and time to remind you about this Friday meeting. The other cool thing with Google Keep is that you can add collaborators. So if you want multiple people on a note, you can have that. We already went over the background options. You could insert an image. You can archive this note if you don't need it anymore. And then you can do all of these followings. If you want to have a label, you could have a label that's for reading, one for math, and one for writing. All of these different labels is just like in Gmail, how you have different labels. It's just a way to categorize your notes. So another thing that you could do is you could pin your notes up at the top. And so here are all of my pinned notes. And so here we can see that for the Seesaw Questions note that I have, there are three different people who are collaborators on it with me. Like I said before, Google Keep works with different Google applications. So for this one, you can see that this Flag Day Google Keep note came from a Week 25 Fluency homework. So if I click on that, this Google Keep note is going to take me straight to where I started the note in the first place. So while I'm in Google Docs, off to the right here, this little icon that has a little light bulb in it, that is Google Keep. While I was in this document, I started a Keep note. So if I click on it, I can start to take notes while I'm within this document. You can do that with slides and any other Google application where you can see the Google Keep. Now, other web pages that you are on, if you have the Google Keep extension, it will allow you to take a note as well. So here I'm going to click on my Google Keep extension on this website and I'm going to take a note that SSO is where our apps are housed. And I'm going to call this SSO and create a note. Now if I go back to Google Keep, I'm going to see that that note pops up for me. And here it is. It has the web page listed right here and I can click on it and go to SSO. So that note will be kept here and if I wanted to add collaborators or change the background, I can do that all here in Google Keep. 
So off to the left, you can also edit labels. So if you wanted to create labels, like I mentioned earlier, you can archive notes and you can trash any notes. Just note that they will be deleted after seven days. So Google Keep is a great way to keep yourself organized no matter where you are on the internet or within Google Apps. You can always stop and take a note so that you don't have to use a physical sticky note. You can just use Google Keep and have it all saved here. You can also draw your own notes or add pictures of your own notes and share it with people. You can also create lists of things that you can need by clicking on the checkbox. So Google Keep is a really great tool and you can have your students even use it when they're reading articles to keep notes off to the side. So that's it for Google Keep and your job now is to create your own Keep note or label or something and take a screenshot and put it on Jamboard so that way we can learn from each other and see different ways to use Google Keep. So either tell us how you're going to use Google Keep or upload a screenshot.